team on right now, good friend of the racing boys, and uh, the macho man, Brady Bacon, joins us here on Track Talk. How you doing, Brady? Good. How about you guys? Well, you know, we're doing pretty good. What are you doing, hanging out with the fam? Yeah, actually, last night, we uh, some of the family volunteered to have a little Christmas cookie baking night with the kids, so we got the night off, got a little... Got to go out to dinner and stuff, so that was a what, change of pace. What, well, let's get a little of the inside life of Brady Bacon. What did you cook? What kind of cookies did you bake last night? Oh, they made all kinds. They made, obviously, the sugar cookies and decorated them. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, they made some chocolate chip cookies. And uh, they made, I think, three or four different kinds. I haven't got to sample them all yet. Mm-hmm. There wasn't many left when I got back. So, What's your favorite cookie, Brady? I uh, Snickerdoodle is my favorite cookie. Is that right? See, I'm an oatmeal raisin guy myself. Yeah, and no, I'm definitely not that. No, you don't like the oatmeal raisin. Okay. Right. No. Man, uh, what a year, Brady. It, you just, how do you keep it up, man? How do you keep it up all these years doing what you do? How do you, how do, you do it, man? Because not as many people are as consistent as you are, no matter what you drive doesn't matter right you're just steady eddie all the time how do you keep it up uh, well I mean, we work pretty hard at it uh, try to keep it simple and uh, just do the basics right and usually it it kind of works itself out my wife has a major part of uh, our success she takes care of a lot of stuff that makes me uh, not have to worry about that um, merchandise and things like that's a major part of our living so uh, it takes a little bit of the stress off of uh, you know getting in that mode where I have to win tonight or can't pay the bills situation. So we're fortunate that most of the time uh, we have avoided that um, you know situation. But uh, I, I really don't uh, know what exactly if there's a secret or anything. But uh, we work hard all the time, invest a lot of time in it, and uh, like I said, just try to keep it simple and, and execute what we know we can control. So you are as easygoing and cool as it seems. You are that guy, or you wouldn't be able to pull this off. Uh, I guess. I mean, I try not to get. Uh, I try to look at the big picture as much as I can. Um, you know, if you're going to have problems. It doesn't matter how prepared you think you are. There are going to be times when you have problems. So, uh, it, some teams it can get them. You know, rock the boat a little too much, and they start kind of falling apart. But uh, we try to just keep our nose to the grindstone and focus on what we can control, which is the next race. So uh, there's no sense in crying over the one that's already over. You can't change that. So just try to make yourself better for the next one. You know, Brady, you've been uh, making a living driving these race cars for a long time. I've known you a long time. And, uh, compared to when you started to now, how difficult is it to make a living, especially with these trying times that we had? You know, I don't know how it affects going out and your marketing side of things, whatnot, with COVID and everything. I don't know if that's hurt you or helped you or whatever. But just talk about this long period of time of making a living driving a race car and the times when you started to now. Is it more difficult now than it was back then, or is it easier now for you because you've had a lot of success in championships and you it's is it easier for you now um i don't know if it's easier uh the work kind of shifts a different focus as your career goes on you kind of find what works what doesn't what's best for you what works best for me is something you kind of have control over the team and uh you know pick the things that we have on the car what kind of car shocks things like that Uh, that doesn't work for some people they prefer to just drive for other people not have to worry about it but that's never really been the, the best recipe for me um but that takes a lot of work to kind of have your own operation and um i spend probably more time in my office now than i do in the race shop which wasn't really <laughs> when you're dreaming about being a race car driver you don't really think about that part but um 